All right, so we've had global outage, man. I mean, at this point, it's just it's just getting funny. But before I talk, man, I want you guys to hear what one of the elite member of the World Economic Forum has to say about cyber attacks. We all know, but still pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. So there you have it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get the popcorn it's all entertainment they let you know the things that are gonna come before it even happens man okay so i made a video a couple months ago if y'all remember it was like maybe like two three four months ago when all the phones went out at&t sprint t-mobile my phone was down for like four hours and i was telling people that's just a test what you saw what happened yesterday i'm making this video a day late so maybe two days ago uh what you saw happen then uh, that was just a test too. Okay, they tested out in the phone servers. Now they're testing it out with the whole Microsoft and the airplanes and all this global outage. Guys, all just a test for what's to come. They let you know what's going to happen. Okay, so I also want to show you guys this too. Because remember, it's all predictive program. I got my popcorn out. We're living in a scripted reality, guys. It's all scripted. They're all being ran off of a script. You got to enjoy it. It's all entertainment. Okay, there's no need to live in fear. When this actually does happen, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to eat my popcorn. Well, maybe I can't eat my popcorn because the microwave will be off. There will be no energy. But I'm going to be in, I'm gonna be rejoicing because I'm going to cry anyway. So it's all just, it's, 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 it's a script. How, how are you not entertained? I got to get my pork, popcorn out, man. I got to. I want to show you this so quick. So leave the world behind. Remember, this movie was produced by the Obamas, Barack and Michelle Obama. And like I told you guys, do not be surprised. I'm not prophesizing. I'm not saying this is going to happen. It's just like I, I, I could see it maybe in the script where Biden somehow drops out. Something happens to him and Michelle Obama starts to run for president. Okay. Or Kimmela Harris. But it says, leave the world behind. Remember, y'all know this movie. If you haven't seen this movie, the movie kind of sucks. I don't know why I got so much topic. You know, I guess because like the, it links it to the end times. But the movie sucked. But it did have some nuggets in there here and there. But um, it says, no internet. No phones, no going back to normal. So best believe, guys, when the cyber attack happens worldwide, or at least here in America, and the, the power goes out, the grid gets shut down, because this is going to happen, guys. It is going to happen. Okay, when this happens, you know, please understand that it's all script, it's all planned. Don't think it was by an accident. Don't think that was by an accident. Okay? Uh, so yeah, no internet, no phones, no going back to normal. Who can he trust at the world's end? Okay? Uh, they always let you know, guys, it's called predictive programming all right guys so before i show you this clip here i'll read this real quick and i'll show you guys like i'm so glad to see a lot of people are waking up man it's it's a beautiful thing to see it's unfortunate though that a lot of people um you know a lot of people who profess to be christians they still can't see you know and there's a bible verse that says bless are your eyes for they see the things that you see and your ears that they hear the things that you hear for many disciples many kings and many prophets desire to see the things that you see and they were unable to see it Okay, so this is a blessing, guys. When people call you conspiracy theorists, when people condemn, scoff and mock, uh, remember, they did it to Noah. Our eyes are open. We see what's going on. Okay, and when this happens, when Ish hits the fan, we're going to be grabbing out popcorn and just laughing while everybody's in panic and fear. We're just going to be laughing, guys. <laughs> we're going to be laughing like, wow, people fell for the script again. Okay, but I um, thought I subscribed to this channel already. Oh. What the heck? All right. A uh, global cyber outage, cybersecurity platform, CrowdStrike is down worldwide, causing global IT problems, Microsoft crashes, 9-11 out outages across several U.S. states and disruptions in international airlines, banks and media outlets. Now, I do feel bad for people who had flights, things of that sort. That's that sucks, man. I hate delayed flights, canceled flights. That's terrible. OK, but look at this uh, tweet right here. <laughs> I'm so glad people are waking up, guys, before I play the video. So it says, nothing to see here. Uh, World Economic Forum. Remember the guy, the first clip I showed you guys, he's one of like, the leaders of that of that forum, okay? These, this is part of the New World order, okay? 
So you see CrowdStrike, they're partners with it. Guys, it's all a test. What you saw, guys, with the phones getting shut down, ran all these services getting shut down randomly, you know, what just happened now, guys, it was all just a test, man. So let's play the clip. story in Australia and right around the world, but we can't bring it to you in a normal way. Why? It's affecting us. It's Sky News, it's Foxtel, many customers, many users, many businesses. What's happened is we believe a malware company called CrowdStrike has essentially gone down. If you have a look at our studio here, this is what it looks like on many computers right around the world. Now, um, technical operators call this the BSOD, the BSOT, the blue screen of death. People are loading, systems are crashing, they're loading again and again and again. It's on a loop. So many companies are unable to work right now, including Sky News. Now, it's affecting users in Australia. We're talking major banks, telcos, media companies, uh, Sky News, obviously. ABC Radio was completely down last time we saw it as well. But it's right around the world. This is an international company. We can see what it's doing as well through our screens. Uh, we're talking, we've seen users in the US, in Europe, in Asia, New Zealand, right around the world this is happening. So this will be a massive story. There are offices everywhere that have just gone completely down, people unable to work, there'll be payment systems not working, uh, and all sorts of issues, including for telcos. Remember that last outage for Optus and all the, the issues caused there? So this is massive. As I said, we believe the company is CrowdStrike. That's the belief at the moment. The last contact we had, had by the way, with the minister's office was that uh, the belief was it was going to be CrowdStrike involved and they were working to fix their systems, but it's up to them to do it. So the stress on that is it's not a, a hack, if you like, where the government has to try to ward it off. It's a system issue within CrowdStrike when an update happens. So once that update has been pushed through across the world, as soon as that update happens... I'll let the video finish real quick, but I just want to say, guys, I call it cap. Cap. I don't believe them at all. I don't believe mainstream media. I don't believe the politicians. Um, I definitely don't believe anybody who's a part of the WEF. Companies are just going down, including you at Sky News. So you can see this is the situation right now in the studio. We're hoping this issue, why we believe CrowdStrike will get fixed so that we can get back on air and tell you what's going on. And obviously we're hoping it's not disrupting your life too much as well. So that's the update right now. Keep, uh, keep tuned in and we'll give you more updates as they... So there you go. Remember, let me show you this tweet one more time. Okay, now you said nothing to see here. And wow, a lot of people are waking up, guys, because you see the likes and reposts and stuff like that. A lot of people are waking up. Partners, CrowdStrike, they were the ones who went down. Come on, guys. A lot of people are waking up. It's a blessing to see. But what you got to see take place, guys, remember, when it happens, don't be surprised. Don't let it catch you off guard. They already showed you this was going to happen. Remember the movie, Leave the World Behind, produced by the Barack Obamas? What? Why are they even making a movie like that? Because they know themselves, too. Okay, so this is all just one script, and it's unfortunate. A lot of people, guys, you know, your friends, your family, et cetera, et cetera, some people are just, they ain't going to wake up, man. They ain't going to wake up to the deception. This is all a strong delusion. And best believe, guys, the Most High God, he's, he's in control of all. He's allowing everything to happen. Okay, those who don't love the truth, they're going to fall for the lies. The Bible said that would happen. Those who, let me, let me get that verse for y'all quick, because this is a very important verse to know in these last days. Okay, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 9 to 12. I was only supposed to read 10 to 12, but I'll just read 9. It says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all powers and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they may be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they shall believe a lie, that all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasures in unrighteousness okay so the strong delusion is coming for who those who do not believe the truth and those who have pleasure in unrighteousness pleasure in sin living in willful sin not living a life of repentance not trying to you know fast and pray the, the demonic spirits the, the strongholds off of them uh just living for the world when you live for the world you're living for satan okay and those are the people who are going to be swept away by this you know, um, there's going to be a time, guys, where the banks collapse. There's going to be a time where, you know, you're not going to be able to get help in the hospitals. And, in, you know, now when, when, I, when you see me eating popcorn and telling I'm going to rejoice, like I'm actually going to feel sorry for those who don't have Christ in their life, you know, because th those people are going to be suffering the most. Those people who don't have faith in God, uh, those people who are living for the world, those people who claim to have faith in God, 
but who are just living for the world, living lukewarm, living in willful sin, living a life of disobedience, uh, they're going to have to reap, you know, what they sow too as well. Okay, so it's very important to be set apart, come out from among them. And I'm telling you guys, your discernment increases spiritually when you truly become set apart. You really see the world for what it is. And it is unfortunate when you do see the world for what it is. You're now crazy. You're now conspiracy theorist. You're now some strange weirdo, you know. But the Bible says that's what, that's what you are, okay? You are a peculiar people. You know, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 says, Be you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So peculiar means strange, foreign, you know, and that's what you are when you're a chosen one, you know, and a lot of people, it's not, it's not always a strange, some, a lot of people gravitate towards your energy. They want to be around your light uh, because you have that spirit, a loving spirit. People want to be around that, you know, uh, especially when most people out here who are in, living in darkness, you know, living in, in, in sin and stuff like that. So you're the light and you just, you know, people feed off the energy. Okay. So, uh, like I said, guys, when you see this all take place, don't be surprised with the next global outage. Remember, it's all just a test. Uh, don't be surprised with the banks, you know, you start to see now how the banks take to collapse. It's not going to just happen in one day. It's going to be, and this is already happening. And if you guys paid attention to, I think it was early, early, no, it was last year where there's a whole bunch of banks collapsing Silicon Valley. There's a whole bunch of other banks too. And this is all the plan to, you know, eliminate cash and usher in their own CBDC or their own digital currency. Um, to push out Bitcoin, you see BlackRock, uh, State Street, Fidelity, Va um, Vanguard, all these big corporations are up buying up the Bitcoin. They know what was coming way ahead of the general public. Okay, they told you that it was a scam. Even Donald Trump said that Bitcoin was a scam. Now he's promoting it. Now they're promoting it. So you just can't trust none of those people, guys. You got to use your own discernment, use your own wisdom and knowledge that comes from God to, to for you to, you to move, for you to make the right decisions. Because if you're trusting in them, you're going to be led astray. The Bible makes it clear, says that um, if the blind lead the blind, all fall into a ditch. So if the person that you're, you know, you're allowing to lead you and teach you, as, uh, you're putting your trust and faith in, like a lot of people are putting their faith, faith and trust in politicians, best believe, guys, you're going to fall into a ditch too. You should only be putting your faith and trust in the Most High, the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Yahshua. Love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace. Shalom. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, one last thing, guys. I'm on Rumble now. I just made a Rumble. I just have a new video on there. Check it out. I can't post it on this platform. Rumble.com slash Mark the Messenger. Check that out. All right. Peace. Like and subscribe.